Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the darkness, the isolation, um, and the sadness that I started to feel when I thought that maybe Dr. Duchik wasn't going to conduct the third surgery. Um, you know, music's always been a part of my life um, since I was little. I remember um, the movie Annie. I had the sheet music. I used to take piano me uh, piano lessons, and I used to call myself Annie. Um, I'm a horrible piano player. Actually, I can't play piano. I can't read music, um, but I used to sing, and I haven't sang in years. But my daughter, my oldest daughter Ashley, is a wonderful piano player. And um, she has even composed music for um, like when her baby sister was born. And um, she's very artistic. She's a photographer and she has been um, accepted into three schools so far for photography for an outstanding portfolio. And we're still waiting to hear back from two schools. But anyway, that's now. Let me take you back into my dark moments. Um, where I started keeping a journal. Christina Perry writes about love and heartbreak, well, a couple of her songs. And the words didn't have that effect or meaning to me. Um, like when I listened to Jar of Hearts, for example, um, I, I looked it up and I wanted to find out like what made her write that song what was she singing about? Well, she was singing about, you know, this serial dater who went around and dated and just broke hearts. And I, when I had first heard that song, I immediately related it to my health crisis. So I just want to read what I had wrote back in 2011, um, Jar of Hearts. Um, I know I can't take one more step towards you because all that's waiting is your crap. And don't you know I'm not your ghost anymore? You lost the love I loved the most. I've learned to live half alive, and now you want me one more time. Because I think that pertains to all the surgeries I've been faced with. Who do you think you are running around leaving scars, collecting your jar of hearts, tearing love apart? You're going to catch a cold from the ice inside your soul, so don't come back for me. It took so long just to feel all right. Remember how to put back the light in my eyes. I wish I had missed the first time that we met. And now you're back. You don't get to get me back. Who do you think you are? So don't come back for me. Don't come back at all. So that was really powerful for me. And then her other song, The Lonely, I also related to my health crisis. Um, 2 a.m., where do I begin? Crying off my face again. The silent sound of loneliness wants to follow me to bed. I'm a ghost of a girl I want to be most. I'm the shell of a girl that I used to know so well. Dancing slowly in an empty room, can the lonely take away the pain? I sing myself a quiet lullaby, let it go and let the lonely in to take my heart again. Too afraid to go inside for the chance of one more painful night, but the loneliness will stay with me and hold me till I fall asleep. Broken pieces of a barely breathing story where there once was no pain, now there's only me and the lonely. So I obviously changed some of her lyrics and don't sue me. I didn't sing or do anything. I just found them very therapeutic. And um, I, every time I hear her songs, I have them on my, my iPod, um, I cry. But I also know that um, they're just, they're powerful. I would love to meet her just so I could let her know. Um, well, I don't need to meet her. Maybe she'll read, maybe she'll see this one day and know that her songs had a certain meaning, but for me, they t 
touch me in a different way. And um, I'm not a big journal person, as you can see. Look at how thick the journal is. Yeah, and I only wrote it to there. And actually, that was a fortune cookie from a when we had Chinese one night. And it says, you are social and entertaining. And when I opened that fortune cookie up, I started bawling because I can't remember the last time that I was sociable or that I was entertaining. But I put it in there thinking that one day I will be again. So um, I just wanted to share a little bit um, about that. Those were some things that I, were, I was going through um, this long span of time waiting the anticipation of if I was going to have the third surgery or not. So I will um, continue with you all later. Have a good day. Bye.